artifacts. That allows you to have the same object in the screen twice at the same time. Um, so you're going to create a new project and you want to import. So to do this, you need to um, use a tripod. I did not, and I'm, you'll see what happens because I didn't. Uh, I just import those files now. Go to File, Import, Multiple Files. And let me grab the one, two, hit open. All right, so I have both my clips here. I'm going to drag one down to the pane. And that will right away create a composition, um, which I could rename. Masking effect. Okay. And since in this one the kids are on the right side, I'm going to rename this and call it right. And drag down this one. This is left. So I'm going to rename this left, okay. And so I have these clips here, and what I need to do is match them up. So let's see what this looks like. I'm going to drag this down, get to the spot to where, all right, so right here we'll say. And they're going to realize that they're over there. So I'm going to start right here and put this down so I can see my other settings. And I'm going to click on the pen tool. I'm going to click, make sure uh, this is clicked here. This is the check mark is in there for Roto Vizier. And I'm going to try to get right up the middle here. connect it and now you'll see how that creates a mask and right away you can see the layer below it as well and so they're on the screen both at the same time and the nice thing about doing this with the pen tool is it allows you to kind of fix it here you see how that was showing twice you don't want to show that chair and that is what I was talking about that's the effects of having used not having used a tripod uh, would have looked a lot better if I had just use the tripod, but because I even just subtle movements of the camera can screw up this thing. But um, you see that it actually looks pretty good right there. There's a little, this little arm of the chair is showing twice. I could play around with this further and try and correct that. Um, uh, one thing that'll help, so if you go in over here to your mask, you can feather it so that it kind of blurs the line between both of them. Um, you can play around with those settings. That looks a little better right there. And so you'll notice now that when I hit play, both clips are showing at the same time. All right, so that's the effect. You have an object duplicated in the screen at the same time, interacting with itself. Kind of cool. Uh, it's just simple masking in After Effects. Um, I'm going to put out another video shortly to show you how to kind of crop this and align it correctly. Um, but I hope you enjoy this. Let me know if you have any comments. And thanks.